Hey there, thank you for tuning in to SimTech channel in the short series of tutorial on overhead lines parameters calculation. More specifically in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to calculate the resistance per phase of a three phase transmission line. Now, first thing first, before you tackle this type of problem, you need to understand the problem statement, right? Now, the problem statement state that we need to calculate the resistance per phase of a 30 kilometer three phase transmission line if the diameter of a conductor is 20 millimeter and the resistivity of the conductor material is 2 to the power negative 8 ohm meter. Now if you are sitting in an exam class you will most likely be given a formula sheet table where the formula to solve this particular problem is in the formula sheet but if you do not know what are the parameters involved you won't know what is the correct formula to pick. It is for that simple reason you need to understand the problem statement. So illustration is very key in solving this type of problem. So we've got a transmission line. So basically we've got a step up transformer that is transmitting power over the transmission line and wherever the power is going we're going to have a step down transformer as well. And this transmission line is said to have 30 kilometer length right so that is the length and the material being used for this cable here it is said to have a resistivity right of 2 to the power negative 18 so now this could be aluminum or copper but we know that there is a resistivity of the material the material resistivity of 2 to the power negative 18 is very small so these basically indicate that this transmission line is made of a material that have a very low resistance now this could either be copper or aluminum as i've said earlier now this is essentially very important for transmission line why because they will minimize energy loss in the transmission line and that will basically in turn help improve the efficiency of the transmission line so overall selecting material with low resistivity is very uh, crucial for ensuring that the transmission line can carry high current with very minimal power dissipation great now we also have a diameter of 20 millimeter that is given to us this play a very significant role in determining the resistance of the transmission lines cable now a larger diameter will basically result in a larger cross sectional area of your conductor which will basically reduce the resistance of this cable allowing for more efficient current flow in your transmission line so basically what we need to understand here is that in power uh, transmission using conductors with large diameter is basically important because it helps minimize the power losses due to resistive heating as we all know however there is something you have to understand here that there is a trade-off so if your cables are too thick the cost of installing them also will increase because you need structures that are very stronger to basically uh, withstand the weight of those cable if you also make them smaller then they can also dissipate more heat as a resistor will also increase so you need to balance between larger cross-sectional area or diameter versus the strength of your structure so that basically what you need to know in a nutshell but now let's get going with solving this particular problem here so we now know that we've got the length we've got the diameter and we've got the resistivity of the material so which means if we use our formula sheet we can quickly pick a formula based on our given problem statement the correct formula to use is r is equal to rho times the length divided by the area but now remember the units here are the si units okay so which means you need to convert uh, uh, kilometers to meters which is a si unit and your diameter of 20 millimeter must also be converted to meter which is 0 0,02 meter but now by the way if you find this tutorial useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel that will be highly appreciated i thank you so very much but now when you look at your formula here you've got uh, the area that is given here in the formula but in the problem statement you don't have the area you've got the diameter so now you know your cables your conductors are of a form cylindrical so which means 
you need to calculate the area of a cylindrical given the diameter. So now we know that the area is given by these following formula. So A is basically equal to pi times the radius square. So that's the area of a cylindrical. So now you know what the radius is. The radius is basically the diameter divided by 2. So you can just replace it in this formula here. So you're going to have pi times the diameter divided by 2 and everything square. You're going to have here pi times 0, 0,02 divided by 2. It's basically meter here and square. And you know that the area is given in meter square. So basically your answer here is going to be pi times 10 to the power negative 4 meter square. So this is basically the area of this particular conductor. So now you've got the area of the conductor, you've got the length, you've got the resistivity of the material. So now you can just go ahead and plot in the parameters and you're going to find the resistance of the particular conductors. Now remember, the resistance is given in ohms, so you have to ensure that you can uh, cancel all the other SI unit that does not belong to the final answer. So let's go ahead and solve our resistance. So we're going to have R. So the resistive of the material is 2 to the power negative 8. So it's basically ohm meter, right? Times the length, which is now 30,000 meters. And this is all going to be divided by the area of the conductor, which we then calculated to be equal to pi times 10 to the power negative 4 meter square. Okay, now already you can see that this meter and this meter is going to give you a meter square, and meter square and meter square, they're basically going to cancel themselves here. And you're only going to have a one uh, unit here that basically going to be ohm. So now all you have left is to compute 2 times 10 to the power negative 8 divided by pi times 10 to the power negative 4. And that is going to give you a value of 1,91 ohm. So that basically your final resistance for this problem here. Right? So now when you look at it... Uh, 1.91 ohm is quite a big resistance if you're going to be transmitting like 2 kilo amps of current. But now remember, this resistance is not over uh, 10 meters. This is over 30 kilometers long of a transmission line that you only going to have a 1.91 resistance across that distance. So basically the amount of power you're going to transmit over these distance versus how much you're going to dissipate, they can actually uh, justify these power losses. So that's basically it uh, in this uh, tutorial. So stay tuned for the next tutorial where we're going to take a look at how to calculate the inductance and the capacitance. Just as you see that we are able to calculate the resistance parameters of this overhead line here, Equally so, we can calculate the inductance and the capacitors across these transmission lines here. So stay tuned for that upcoming short tutorial. Until next time, cheers.